Hello my sweet baby angels and thanks for joining me for another video here on my channel. Sorry for the loud snoring. No, it's not a bear. It's my 160, 160 pound Neapolitan Mastiff and you might also hear my kitten garbage chime in. They are my studio mates and on the left side of my chair as I am recording this so i wanted to go and dive di deep into my skin mixing process in this video i have another video that i did that was for uh painting tan skin and i wanted to do a series of essentially painting because i paint all the skin colors under the world so i wanted to do a series of videos where i kind of try and do my best to explain how i paint different skin tones because it's the question that i get most and um yeah, I, I, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I will link down the video of the one that I did for tan skin. And always keep in mind that whenever I'm doing these, I'm trying my best to get into your guys' head. And if you have any questions or anything that still seems, or I didn't answer something that's been really, that you've been super frustrated with, please leave it that link, or please leave a comment down below so I can do my best to address it in the next video. Uh, so my lovely model is Whitney. I, I think her last name is Basil. She is this gorgeous Haitian model that I found on Instagram. And I was instantly attracted to her vibe and her confidence. And when we met her in person, it was just as electric. She's such a confident young woman. And I, I'm so excited to have worked with her. I have some amazing images. I've painted, uh, I've painted some smaller portraits of her, but I have still some huge paintings that I want to tackle with her. Um, my husband Josh has painted her a handful of times, and all of them came out amazing. But she is such an inspiring model and woman, and she is just trying her best to bring back all of her successes that she's had and take them back eventually to Haiti to help her people, which I think is amazing. So I'll leave her info linked down below in the video as well. Okay, so the most important, the most important color you're gonna get or you're gonna need is alizarin crimson spelled a-l-i-z-a-r-i-n crimson and again i use gambling colors so what i would do if you do not want to use gambling first of all i suggest gambling highly not because um not because of i mean i've been using them for five over five six years and they're the only oil paint i use anyway um but what I would do if you if you want to start off with something different is to go to your local art store and compare the colors. So Alizarin Crimson is this very, very deep, almost purple red. And what I was thinking too, let me know what you guys think about this, but I want to do a series of just basic color mixing where the whole video is just paint. There's no actual painting that's following along. It's just paint and it's all about just color mixing so let me know how you guys feel about that but so the alizarin crimson is going to be your number one then followed by the indian yellow oil paint oh sorry i'm so dumb of course it's oil paint that's what i've been talking about this whole time but you're going to want to add indian yellow and then you're going to want to add different amounts of cobalt blue and ultramarine blue also, you're going to want to mix in some Hansa yellow or cadmium yellow. And like I've said in my past videos, you're not mixing just one color. So one of the things that my husband Josh does, which my, you guys might find helpful because I'm a mess when I paint. I just, I just mix as I go. But if you are more of a beginner, it might be more helpful for you to have your main colors all, all pre-mixed. So um, one of the things you can do is zoom into the highlights, zoom into the base, like the main color of the face, then your shadows, your blush, your midtones, 
and zoom into those colors and have those pre-mixed. Now for Whitney here, for example, the shadows are gonna be mainly your Alizarin Crimson with a little bit of the Indian Yellow. And I like using a mixture of Thalo Blue, Cobalt Blue, and Ultramarine Blue for the shadows. So it depends how deep you want it to be. The Thalo Blue is definitely gonna make it a little bit darker, where the Cobalt Blue and the Ultramarine Blue are just gonna change the tone. I think that's the right usage of that word but it's it's not necessarily gonna make it darker you're just going to get a different a different type of brown so I would highly suggest um, getting all I'm I'll, again I'll list these all off but I use your basic it, it seems very basic but the problem is that I think that people get really frustrated I get these questions all the time where people can't get the right color mix and it's because you don't have the right base colors to start off with. So for example, there was a young lady that had messaged me on Instagram that wanted to make a teal color and there's no way to make like a teal turquoise color using, uh, using oil paint without starting off with a phthalo blue if you're mixing it from scratch. They do obviously sell like a teal that is just straight out of the tube, but if you want to learn how to mix it yourself, you're going to want to start off with phthalo blue. So when you are focusing on making brown skin, it's really important to keep in mind the yellows as well. The yellows and reds are the most important. And then the blues are not as important to create the shadows because it's going to be a different depending on what how deep you want the shadows like i said you're going to want to use different amounts of in different um types of blue but the three yellows that i use are hansa indian and cadmium yellow and then the reds that i use the most important being the alizarin crimson cadmium red yellow and napthal red those are going to be your main ones the one another really important Point and another really important kind of um, something really important to keep in mind is when creating the depth and the skin tone unless you're going for more of a loose feel uh, I like to create layers even when you're painting loose you probably still want to create layers but um, let the layers dry in between because if not everything is going to get muddled um, but it's so important to create that luminosity and that vibrancy in, in skin that's brown. You need to make sure that you're using these different types of reds and yellows because if not, then you're just not going to get that depth in, in the skin tone and create um, your shadows and your highlights correctly. It's also really important to have the correct white, which I use the titanium zinc white because if not, again, it's not going to let you create the correct depth in skin as far as creating a dark to light. I also like using a little bit of manganese violet which is from Gamblin and um, that's to create again some of the the um, shadows in the skin. So I don't know how helpful that was to be honest. I hope that somebody got something out of it. I think what it is is that I think that I really need to sit down and just do color mixing videos, just plain out where it's just the skin tone and you guys can see that. If you find that would be helpful, please let me know down below. I would find it, for me personally, I like doing videos like this because I would find it helpful to see the process. I don't know if you guys find that helpful, but let me know down below if you would prefer more of just a skin tone mixing video so that you can see from start to finish and I can kind of go along as I do that process. There won't really be a painting. It'll be a quick video of just skin tone mixing. Let me know down below if you would like to see that. Uh, take a second to check out my Patreon page linked down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. I heart you guys so much and I love you guys so much and I like you guys so much. And I will see you guys very, very soon. All right. Stay sexy and don't get murdered. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye.